Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be a review and wear test on the brand new Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also subscribed to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley Party of Six okay y'all so today's video we are actually going to be doing a wear test on the brand new Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation and we are going to be comparing it to the Too Faced Born This Way undetectable medium to full coverage original foundation. So I have these both on my face right now. Let me know down below if you guys can guess which side is which. I'd love to know if you see any sort of differences between the two sides before I tell you. I'm going to give you a few seconds. All right, so what did you guys guess? This side is the original Born This Way and this side is the matte side. So you guys are going to see me apply this in just a second. We're going to go through all the specs of the new foundation and all of that stuff. I hope you guys are as excited for this video as I am. If you've already tried this foundation, let us know down below what you think. So I'm going to stop talking. Let's hop right in. All right, so let's jump right into it. I am letting y'all all up in my personal space here. We all zoomed in. This is going to be a very personal, personal conversation and personal review because I have been waiting for so long for Too Faced to come out with the matte version of the Born This Way Undetectable Foundation. They finally done it and dun, 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 I got it right here. So what we are going to do today is on this half of my face, we are going to go ahead and use the brand new Born This Way Matte Oil-Free Oil Controlling Waterproof Transfer Resistant Foundation. And then on this side of my face, we are going to use the original Born This Way Undetectable Foundation. Now this is a natural finish, the original. And then this one here is obviously the matte super long wear version. So what we're gonna do today is test this out all day and see which one is better. I have both foundations in the shade Brulee and they definitely look identical as I'm looking at the bottles here. Both of them obviously have pumps. Now the difference is the regular Born This Way is just like a fatter bottle and then the new matte version is like a longer bottle if you guys can see that but both of them yeah both of them are one fluid ounce so you don't get any more or any less in either bottle so let me read you some of the claims of the new uh, matte foundation this is supposed to be a 24 hour wear oil free oil controlling waterproof transfer resistant undetectable super long wear foundation it says this oil free 24 hour matte foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin our matte formula stays completely color true while covering imperfections to reveal the all day shine free look of naturally flawless skin lightweight wear and coverage so undetectable they'll think you were born this way. So lots of claims there. I think when, I feel like it really gets fuzzy when they start to say stuff like waterproof and transfer resistant. Well, the foundation can be transfer resistant, but if you're gonna top it with powders and other creams, then all of those claims kind of go out the window. So that's where I'm like, you know, they say that stuff, but you have to remember you're gonna top it with other things. But the foundation itself could be transfer resistant. So we're just gonna test the longevity of it, test the wear, see how it looks at the end of the day. It doesn't say if this is medium to full coverage like the other one. I'm gonna assume it is, but, um, Let's go ahead and put it on and we'll test it out and see. Right now my skin is completely bare, nothing on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and prime as I usually would. I'm just gonna use my Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is one of my favorites. This is not a super 
mattifying primer. It really just helps to give me a nice base, blur out my pores a little bit. This is something that I would always use so that I like to test foundations over a primer because I would always use a primer. Okay, let's start with the regular Born This Way foundation. This is the same one that we have been using, the one that we know and love. And again, I'm in the shade Brulee. And this is such a good shade match for me. You guys know it took me, I don't know how many times to try this foundation. And I think I finally got it right. one layer of the regular Born This Way, the old Born This Way foundation with its natural matte finish. I'm sorry, with its natural finish, not natural matte, just natural finish. Now I'm going to take this baby right here and let's see what we get. Color looks identical, which is nice because sometimes even though the color has the same name, it'll look different in different products, but this looks pretty darn identical. All right, let's take the other side of the Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna do the same thing. Right off the bat, I feel like the coverage is a little fuller. I do like right off the bat I feel like I'm getting more coverage with the matte foundation than with the natural finish and both of them I just put on that one layer and I, I definitely see more coverage on this side. The colors looked identical but now that I'm not so focused on this one side this side looks a little more orange. Look at that. This side definitely looks a little more orange. So this is the matte side. And this is the natural side, both with one layer. Definitely, okay, so here we go. Definitely see more, more coverage with the matte side, but the colors are not spot on. This side is just a little more orange to me. It's definitely like a flawless, finished coverage whereas this side it still looks like skin and it's very lightweight but it's it's definitely a lot more flawless this side you can see more pores you can see more of the little like bumps on my face you can see more of that over here you guys have to let me know if you notice it but I can definitely tell the difference in the two yeah, I can I can tell the difference in the two. As far as the finish goes, yeah, I can see the matte over here as well. Let me see. It's not completely dried down yet, but I can see the matte over here as well. Whereas on this side, it's it's more of that natural that natural finish how it's supposed to be. So I do see those major differences so far. I'm not gonna put on another layer. I want it to just, I want it to stay like this. So I'm not gonna do another layer. And I also don't feel like, like if you not, one, if you could tell that this side has less covers than this side, you too close to my damn face. So um, I'm gonna need you to social distance a little bit. So I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna go over this with another layer because I, I want everything to be kind of equal. So I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna use, I think all the rest of the products that I'm going to use are Too Faced products. So we're going to start with this uh, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. You guys know this is one of my faves. I am in the shade Sand. And I'm just going to do everything else super identical on the face. And I'll be right back.
look that I came up with. I will make sure all the products that I used are linked down below. Most of them are Too Faced products. I wanted to keep it brand specific and try to use all of the Too Faced products that I have. So first of all, I'm loving the look right here. Don't forget this side is the matte side and this side is the regular older Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So I can still tell to the untrained eye, you can't see it, but I could definitely still tell that this side has less coverage than this side. So I am loving the flawlessness that is this side right here in the matte foundation. I'm loving it right now, y'all. I'm loving this side too, but there's something about this side that's just really pulling me in right now. So you guys will have to tell me what you think about both sides and I'll make sure to check in throughout the day. It is currently 1.33 in the afternoon. I will try to leave this foundation on for, for at least like eight hours and then we'll just see how it wears throughout the day. I'll check in multiple times and you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think. Hi guys, just wanted to check in on the foundation. It is currently, where's my cell phone? It is currently 3.20, if you guys can see that, in the afternoon. So we're about two hours into the wear. This is how we're looking. Don't forget, this is the matte side and this is the regular Born This Way side. And I think both sides still look pretty phenomenal. But I just wanted to show you guys in natural lighting. We're in the car headed to um, a few places. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like in natural lighting. Here we go. Guys, I'm back for the final review. I just wanted to show you guys what my face looks like. Now, I'm sure you can tell there's a total difference between the two foundations. Like, this side of my face, which is the matte side, you can definitely tell. I have not blotted at all either. You know what? I'm so excited. I didn't even tell y'all what time it is. It is, I'm looking at my computer right now because my phone in the other room. It's 8-12, okay? So 8-12, we've had this foundation on for just right around seven hours. And this is the matte side, which I'm sure you can tell. And then this is the regular Born This Way foundation. Your girl has not blotted, I haven't done anything, I haven't touched my face, and I have been wanting to so bad because this side of my face looks real oily, okay? And I know it does that. The Born This Way foundation is not a matte foundation, the original, so I know my face gets oily, so that's not like a dig at the foundation, but there's a clear difference. A clear difference, y'all. Just look at it. Wow. I love to see that there's a difference in the foundations because sometimes when companies come out with like different products in the same family, I swear sometimes I feel like they just slap a different label on the same product. But this makes me feel like no, this is really formulated for oily Skin. Like I said, it's been seven hours. I haven't blotted or anything and I feel like this side of my face There's some oils peeking through like right here But other than that this side of my face actually looks really really good I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you can see the real real so here we go a little more zoomed in Just so you guys can see a little better like you can just I mean we're oily in the brow area We're oily here. I'm even oily like right here oily all up and through this middle area right here I mean it's just an oil slick and again when I do wear the born this way foundation it's not a super long wearing foundation for me just because I'm oily and it's not made for people with oily skin so I know that and I can I mean you can see the distinct difference this side of my face well both sides of my face the makeup is still intact I can still see my blush I can still see my bronzer I can still see my highlighter Everything is still on and still intact, but um, the difference is in the oils. So this does claim to be a 24 hour foundation. I do not wear foundation for 24 hours and I will not be wearing foundation for 24 hours. So I can't um, substantiate that claim, but it also claims to, it also claims to be oil free, 
oil controlling, which it definitely is, waterproof, I mean, I'm not going swimming anytime soon in foundation, and it claims to be transfer resistant, which I don't really like that claim because if you're putting other makeup on top, again, it doesn't make it transfer resistant, so it just kind of defeats the whole purpose. So, y'all, this lash is like hanging off. Let's just take it off. Okay, so these are my final thoughts. I definitely give this foundation a thumbs up. If you like the Born This Way foundation, but you want a little more coverage and you wanted it to be a little more matte, this is your guy right here. Like this is your guy. Beautiful. And I am totally impressed and I'm here for it. So that's it you guys. If you guys like this video, this review, this demo, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and also commenting down below. I hope this was helpful for you and you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.